Hello RCAP, we are Group Orc F4. I am Fitzen and my teammate is Josiah. We study in Anderson Secondary School and go to the Robotics Club in our school. We have basic levels of EVP and Arduino knowledge and this is our first ever RoboCup competition. We participated in Cool Space Rescue Under-19 Challenge. During this preliminary challenge, we had a problem where when both our robot's color sensors were in the yellow part of the traps, the robot would not know which way to turn and would not move, which resulted in a waste of time. To solve this problem, we added a code where if both color sensors sensed yellow, the robot would reverse and turn away. As a result, our robot no longer got stuck in the yellow part of the trap and in the end, we managed to get a score of 655. We were quite satisfied with the results and are pleased to have a second chance in the finals. The challenge mission is to collect as many points as possible by collecting and depositing as many blocks as possible within the time limit. The challenge task can be broken down into many mini tasks. These mini tasks include picking up the blocks, depositing the blocks, and avoiding traps and borders. However, there needs to be a certain order to these mini tasks or else the robot will get disoriented. These small tasks, when completed together, will contribute to the success or even failure of the run. For example, should the robot fail to locate the deposit zone and deposit the objects on board, the robot will not be able to get enough points. However, if the robot is able to consistently deposit objects, it will boost the points by quite a bit. To start off, we aim to collect six objects. After collecting six objects, we aim to locate the deposit zone. After depositing, if our robot deposited a set of RCB, the robot will try to locate the super object location and pick it up. Then the cycle continues. If at any time the robot senses the trap or it realizes that it is near the border, it will turn away. When we had problems remembering how to program any of the basic codes, we refer to this video for the basic codes. It only made sense to use this video as it was procured by the people of RCAP itself, so we knew that it was reliable and that it would work. Here is a picture of the flowchart for our AI algorithm. Our robot somewhat went according to plan. The basic code that we had prepared in advance worked, and all we had to do was update the ranges for the object colors. However, later on, when we tried to add some innovations to boost our, to boost our points a little, they backfired and cost us many points. We were satisfied with the result as we had aimed for a score or result in that range. We had slightly lower standards as compared to some other participants, as this was our first time participating in such a competition. Thus, being able to hit a decent score was quite satisfying for us. Should we have another chance, we would aim to improve on our consistency. Our program was rather hit or miss, and consequently, we were forced to spend more time on grinding results out for good runs. In total, we spent about 13 hours trying to get good runs with higher points than previous runs. Through this competition, we have learned about the importance of perseverance. During the preliminary round, we confined ourselves to grinding out the best results we could from the robot and the code that we had written and eventually managed to get good runs that we could use. We have also gained invaluable experience about how online competitions are run in this day and age. In the past, we only knew how on-site competitions were held. However, after this competition, we know what to expect when going to other online competitions. To all other competitors and future participants, we want to tell you not to push yourself too hard. Competitions aren't just about the results. They are also about the learning process. If someone asks you what you have learned, as long as you can answer them, it was time well spent, whether you won or lost. Thank you for listening to our presentation and have a good day ahead. Goodbye.